So, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here at the booth of the company Circular with two beautiful women, <laughs> Caroline and Luis. And today we are here because we want to discover the, the company Circular. So, what does Cir Circular do? Well, um, Circular provides a supply chain solution, bringing traceability and transparency into the supply chains of raw materials. And by tracing raw materials such as copper, mica, nickel or cobalt, we help to prevent uh, child labor, human right abuse, environmental exploitations. Thank you. And what does it apply to the automotive sector, especially in regards to electric vehicles? Um, well, with the race of the electric vehicle, the battery demand is uh, naturally set to rocket. And as the battery hosts the majority of minerals which are being sourced under conflicted conditions, it becomes sort of the center of concern when it comes to human rights and not only human rights but also environmental exploitation when it comes to CO2 emissions. So 50% of the CO2 emissions of a, the entire car actually goes back to the battery production. So we provide a solution for companies in order to prove responsible sourcing but also pre provide them with a tool to be able to make more informed decisions about their suppliers, battery suppliers, when it comes to the CO2 emissions of our client supply chains. And then, I mean, then we concentrate on the electric car battery, but also we can track and trace leather, plastic, all the other components of a car. Yeah. Thank you. Of course, the electric car are just a components of this word, so of the battery. <laughs> and with whom are you working at the moment from the automotive sector? Um, so two of our clients um, are Volvo and Daimler. Mm -hmm. So for Volvo, for example, um, we trace cobalt from the mines in the DRC all the way to the lithium-ion battery uh, of the electric vehicle. Actually, their um, XC40 is like the first uh, electric vehicle which can um, provide proof of origin for the cobalt used in the battery. And um, for Daimler, what we do for Daimler is um, we track or we map CO2 along their supply chain of the car battery um, because Daimler has the aim to um, produce a new car fleet, a CO2 a neutral car fleet by 2039 and um, bringing or providing a deeper understanding of how much CO2 is produced at each step of the supply chain and I'm not talk only talking about scope 1 emissions but also about scope three, uh, 2 and 3 emissions and so like you know being able to have like a deeper understanding of how much CO2 is being produced and like it's a first big step into the direction of CO2 neutrality. Really important cooperation. <laughs> so, one last question. How does exactly your solution work? Um, well, we use a variety of technologies in order to be able to track and trace resources within, within the supply chain. So, we focus on resources that change chemical and physical state. So, um, to go, okay, we create like an immutable record of the chain of custody. So we give the resource or the batch of resource right from the beginning at the mine um, a digital identity. And, from, and then this digital identity follows the physical asset or the resource we want to track and trace like a shadow along the supply chain. And then um, we use, for example, mass balancing, blockchain technology, geofencing, facial recognition in order to be able to track and trace reliably the physical asset. That's not very really exactly, but at least it gives you like a quick overview of how we're doing it. 